This presentation is copyright protected, which is detailed on the last slide. Welcome to the Straight Blade Plow Flowstat Hydraulic Circuit demonstration utilizing Automation Studio simulation software. There are many different hydraulic components that make up the Straight Blade Plow Hydraulic Circuit. There are three solenoid cartridge valves labeled S1, S2, and S3. There are two crossover relief valves for the angling circuit, the driver side crossover relief valve, and the passenger side crossover relief valve. There is one main pump relief valve. There is one pilot operated check valve, also known as PO check valve or spool poppet valve. There is one bypass check valve and one quill. Lastly, there is a motor, pump, pump filter, and reservoir, also referred to as tank, throughout this video demonstration. We will now demonstrate the raise function. We will now turn the cab control on. The red indicator light illuminates and should remain a constant red light. We are now ready to function our plow. Pressing the raise button on the cab control activates the motor, turning the pump, drawing hydraulic fluid from the tank through the filter, creating flow. Hydraulic fluid then flows through the shifted S3 cartridge valve, the unshifted S2 and S1 cartridge valves, the bypass check valve, to the base of the lift ram, raising the plow. When the plow is fully raised, pressure will build to the pump relief setting, then return directly to tank. We will now demonstrate the lower function. Pressing the lower button on the cab control activates the S1 valve. The weight of the plow collapses the lift ram forcing hydraulic fluid through the quill, through the shifted S1 valve, the unshifted S2 and S3 valves, and back to tank. The quill can be adjusted by turning it clockwise, slowing the drop rate of the plow. We will now demonstrate the angle right function. Pressing the angle right button on the cab control activates the motor and the S2 cartridge. Hydraulic fluid then flows through the unshifted S3 valve, through the PO check valve, extending the driver side angle ram. The passenger side angle ram forces returning hydraulic fluid through the shifted S2 valve, the unshifted S3 valve, and back to tank. When the blade is fully angled, pressure will build to the pump relief setting and then bypass directly to tank. We will now demonstrate the angle left function. Pressing the angle left button on the cab control activates the motor and the S2 and S3 cartridge valves. Hydraulic fluid then flows through the shifted S3 valve, through the shifted S2 valve, providing pilot pressure to the PO check valve and extending the passenger side angle ram. The retracting driver side ram forces returning hydraulic fluid through the PO check valve and the shifted S3 valve and back to tank. When the blade is fully angled, pressure will build to the pump relief setting and then bypass directly to tank. Thanks for watching.